a little bit about um, Hamilton's personality, uh, an engaging dinner guest, if you would have him over for, uh, for a meal. Hamilton was beloved by his admirers and hated by his detractors. His admirers found him charming and witty and entertaining um, with a, a depth of intellect uh, rivaled by very few in his age. And his detractors saw him as someone who was too ready to sacrifice civility in the name of defending himself or his reputation. And uh, it's one of the great tragedies uh, of Hamilton's life that when you are that kind of outspoken personality and you do say what's on your mind and people who agree with you are gonna love that and people who don't are gonna hate it, in a world where honor killing is still an accepted practice in many quarters, at some point, uh, that propensity to speak his mind in an unvarnished way was going to catch up to him. And while it's tragic that he dies, unlike the other founders, so much younger than the rest of them, because he's felled by Aaron Burr's bullet in this fatal, unfortunate duel, in many ways, it's a miracle he even lived that long because he was nearly in many other duels earlier in his life. I think Hamilton, even in a subconscious way, had a, a sort of death wish. And in the same proportion that Aaron Burr hated him, uh, his admirers loved him and mourned his passing.